All right, I'm here with Dr. Monisha today as our test guinea pig patient. Um, she just happens to be going uh, through some of the things that we're going to be describing today. Uh, experiencing some neck and uh, lower head pain um, and some temporal type headaches. So we're going to go through today what we typically do to help someone out who's in this exact situation. Um, so after an exam and consultation and everything to figure out what's going on, we've already done that with her. So I'm just going to go through and show you a few different things that we typically do in the office to help someone out in these types of situations. Uh, a big part of it is to do some soft tissue work. Uh, a lot of times the upper traps, the levator back here and the SCM and scalenes are playing a big role. Also getting down into the pecs uh, can, can really help loosen these things up. Uh, you see a lot of people with this type of posture roll forward and head forward due to desk jobs, due to different traumas in their lives and really helping to open up someone and bring their body into a good upright position where everything is stabilized and being supported properly is very important for this. So some of the things that we'll do is we'll just Get in and do a little bit of soft tissue work on these traps. Use some sort of movement based therapies with patients. Help loosen up some of these muscles. Now, each one of these is going to be a little bit more abbreviated than what I would typically do if we had more time. So, usually 15 minutes, half an hour worth of soft tissue work for someone, or even longer, depending on how long this has been going on and what exactly has happened. And then, so that's trap and levator. You can get in and do the SCM. Well, this is a big player in all of this anterior head carriage and scalenes as well. And so that's those. We typically do both sides. Let's go face up here, Monisha. <laughs> A few other important ones that we're going to work on are going to be the temporalis muscles, the jaw. We can do master lateral pterygoids, and you get to the medial pterygoids here and even through the mouth. So we'll probably work on some of those. But temporalis, we can just have her for movement, just open and close the jaw. A lot of times patients will present and say, oh, this is where I rub a lot of times when I get my headaches. And they're on the right track. They're listening to their bodies, which is great. Sometimes it just needs a little more help and to do some of the other things in combination with it to be able to really get these things to loosen up and stay loosened. Keep going. The masseter and lateral pterygoids here. And we can even get up under, do some of the medial pterygoids. Move the jaw again, Manisha. All right. Like I mentioned, the pecs can play a big role. You can sort of see how her shoulders roll forward a little bit. So a big thing we have to do is get that to open up. And we can just do some movement with the different pectoralis muscles here. So you can have the patient move through and bring that arm up and down. Good stretch, go all the way down. So this is the pec major clavicular division. Can also get the sternum, which we're gonna come at a little bit more of an angle like this. So those are some of the major muscle groups that will work to help loosen up the muscles and uh, that system with it now. Adjusting is going to be very important. Upper cervicals, occiput, and even cranial adjustments and upper thoracics to really help most of these patients. Um, chronic headaches, a lot of times we have to look internal, digestive issues, hormone dysfunction, making sure that we're supporting those through good dietary, nutritional, supplemental needs. Okay, 
We're gonna check some of the cranial bones here. How's this, Manisha? A little tender. Out here. Same. Here. Same. Here. Same. So a little bit there. So we're gonna work the inside of the mouth now. Um, both the pterygoid, medial pterygoids and the palatine bone, which is a hard palate. So go ahead and open. I'm gonna work the muscles first. Tender here. Mm -hmm. So just open and close to my finger. Good. This is also great for TMJ uh, patients. But a lot of patients with headaches and neck pain have jaw dysfunction as well. So keep closing. More tender on one side than the other. Mm -hmm. No. All right. Let's see how these did now. How's this? Better. How's this? Better. And how's this? Better. How's this? Good. Okay. So when we clear those up, it's sort of a sign that we're good. We don't have to do the palatine adjustment, which is nice because those can be a little tender. I'm gonna check neck flexors here. So hold your head right here, and I'm gonna push down. Don't let me. Good. It's a little weak. I'm going to challenge a couple cranial bones. Hold here. Okay. One more time. Hold right here. Okay. Push your tongue to the roof of your mouth mm -hmm. and hold here. Nope. Okay. And we're just going to do this. Breath in. Out. And in. Here, don't let me push. That's better. I'm do a few more of those. Breath in, out, and in. And breath in, out, and in. Hold here. Don't let me push. Good. So I got a decent amount there. Let's flip over and go face down. Upper thoracic moving. Breath in. Out. And breath in. Out. And begin. And again. Good, that should do it.